I never thought I'd be doing something like this. You know, it was never really my thing. It was my father's dream to be a stand-up comedian, but he broke his leg and he can't stand, so here I am. <laughs> you know, I'm a dad, too. It's a lot of responsibility. My first was a boy, so I converted my entire family to Islam because they didn't want him to end up gay. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. It sounds terrible, but it's okay. Because ten years later, I had a daughter and we switched back because I didn't want her to get ripped. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. My best friend is gay. You never suspect it, though. You'd think he was, like, asexual or something. And I swear he just claims to be gay because that <laughs> counts as a diversity hire these days. <laughs> be honest, man. You really gay? Why? You interested? Uh, maybe. You'd probably make an excellent mother. That's all you want? Convert to Islam. They'll find you three wives before sunset. Right. Sad pops break his leg. Was he kneeling at a protest? No, he was proposing to your mother. Which one? My birth mother, my stepmother, my birth mother's lover? Well, he tried for all three at once and he, uh, he blew out his ACL in the approach. <laughs> People get outraged really easily these days. It doesn't matter what you're talking about, someone can twist it into something that's offensive. If you want to see racism, you'll see racism. If you keep letting your emotions get the better of you, you'll never see the real problems. Okay, if you're a realtor, calling a bedroom a master bedroom doesn't make you racist. Not showing your black client a house because it's in the neighborhood of all white people? Now that's racist. This is an ignorance issue. Let's be wise about it. Love the king. Hate the name. Love the gang, hate the name. Love the gang, hate the name. If you love the game, then shut the f up. Oh, leave those poor buccaneers alone. I'm sorry, I'm not savvy to pirates' rights. They didn't choose the pirate life, the pirate life chose them. Your argument is arbitrary. <laughs> the Washington Redskins? Now there's some folks to be mad at. There's nothing flattering about that name. I mean, seriously. They've been sidestepping this issue for years, and it's obvious they're never going to change because they make too much money. But I have a solution for everybody. Okay, okay, listen close, because I plan on making millions off of this idea. It's brilliant. You don't even have to change the name. You just change the mascot from an Indian to a red-skinned potato, and BAM! Problem solved. I wonder what Elon Musk is going to do when he finally gets to Mars. Cocaine? Nah, after that. Colonize? Eh, nah, too simple. He isn't going to show his cards and most people don't even understand the deck he's playing with. Oh, but you do? No, no, that f***er's wild. Agreed. You're mild. Some folks have a more delicate palate. What if it's the simulation and he's just trying to test its limits? Like, like, uh, let's go to Mars so the aliens have to render a new planet? Yeah, something like that, or, or like, force it to glitch. So Elon is the Antichrist? I don't understand the concept. Evil destroys things and good creates things. If the Antichrist can create things, then Christ must be able to destroy things, which doesn't really make much sense. So are Christ and Antichrist the same thing, then? If both could have the same capacities? The same thing is in two sides of the same coin. Christ creates, Antichrist destroys. They aren't separate. So, to create, you have to destroy destruction? Yes. <laughs> I think the church would have some beef with that. Well, it's fish only Friday, bitches. <laughs> so the way I see it, there's a giant asteroid out there somewhere just barreling at us. We don't have any clue how far away it is, or yeah, really if it's even out there. I mean, if it isn't, entropy is, so no matter what, our time as a species is transient. Nothing ever stands still or stops like we want it to. Just because nothing's permanent doesn't mean things are that bad. You don't get to keep anything, and everything is always changing. But that just means people are either getting better or getting worse. So let's all get better. Let's all be productive citizens. Good night, folks.
Ragnarok and revolutionize.